right, let's go. Well, a good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, our apologies for the interruption in the live stream of the second team game, but we are up for the first team match uh, between the, uh, the Falcon Mad Dogs on home turf. Here yeah, the Mad Dogs sit down in Esgodini, taking on the Prince Edward Tigers. Let's quickly go through, through, through the lineup uh, today, which has been slightly altered uh, uh, because of uh, uh, various injuries that have happened uh, to the Falcon Mad Dogs, but they are still on it. So we're going to start off with uh, the Falcon College, our first team. Uh, the Mad Dogs um, uh, starting off a tight head. Uh, we've got Anesumawere, uh, Huka is Mantlekosi, Mpande, uh, Lucid is uh, Tatenda Runyowa. He's going to be one to watch out for. He's the captain for today. And then our locks, Obina Nweke and uh, Sonny Brebna. And then we do have our loose trio, which is Tristan Burton, uh, David Clegg, and our eighth man being Dominica McKechnie. Liam Butler is our scrum after. I wonder if you soon will move to number 10 with Polwani Moyo. Uh, that is injured. We also have a Volani Mube. He will be dangerous to watch in the inside centre. Outside centre will be Tapazwa Tigere. Hagens Machaka on the wing alongside uh, Zane Tamanda. And for that we'll have uh, James Thompson. James Thompson, uh, we heard from the coach yesterday, is a Form 4 student, a fantastic kicker as we saw him practising yesterday. But he is a Form 4 only and he will be under pressure in this match. Uh, quickly taking a look at the Tigers, we have uh, Sanchez. Nyanga at tight head, Ujeneza at uh, Hoka Mabuto at uh, Lucid. Then our locks, we've got Chifamba and Kasose. Then we've got Tyreek Mutuma, who's a co-captain at uh, Lustrio. And then we've got Mpagore at number seven. Alan Maunga uh, returns uh, from uh, the Young Sables uh, duty, winning the Bates Trophy, where he did a fantastic job. He's the eighth man and co-captain. Kunaka is uh, the scrum half. And Rusike at Flyoff. Fuzi Jena is your 11. Unganai and Chirisa on the center pairing. Thompson gets the ball. Vriani Mube sidesteps. Breaks through. Goes in for the hit. Finally taken down. And they do protect the ball. So Falcon here yeah, making their intention well known through Vuyani Mube. I did say he's a danger man, so watch out for him. Bachelor gets the ball out, and Falcon looking to recycle the ball here. Prince Edward with the hands on the ball, and they're able to turn over possession. So some really good play coming from Pagore. Contesting at the breakdown. Now ball in hand for Kunaka. He goes for touch, and he finds it just at the halfway line. So Fuyani Ngube has got a point to prove today. Unfortunately, he doesn't have his captain, Huntsman Greaves. He doesn't have the star flyer, but that is for one more. They also don't have Ralph in there. And uh, Prince Edward continuing. That one was knocked back, but that looks like a tackle off the ball. Are we ready? On uh, but Prince Edward now on the charge, trying to get the ball on the inside, and they keep on going. Oh. Play by Prince Edward, sending it out, looking for Maunga. He collects the ball, big hit into Vuyani Ngube, but he says, you're not getting past me. Ah, oh, big time. Maunga looks like he's playing right in the middle of the line there, just looking for some big hits. And Falcon has stolen the ball there. Some really good work coming from David Clegg. Bachelor on the ball, sends it out to Jisungo. He goes for a kick over the top, really smart one. But no one else is following here. Yeah, Prince Edward might just be able to make it out. A good tackle. And Prince Edward struggling right at the back, Jisungo. Really smothering Prince Edward. Now they pick it up. Looking to go on the outside. Pulled out into touch. And Falcon have done a really good job of smothering Prince Edward there. Not so sure why they were messing around with the ball in their own 22. And they might just pay the price for that. 
Well, the, lo the noise levels have just gone up a couple of decibels here at the Mad Dogs Pit as we are right next to Falcon supporters. That is uh, the students here at Falcon College. But we do have another line out here. And it will be Pande with the line out. They decide to go for a long one. It goes in straight enough. It's a six ball. Well, an eight ball, I would say. And that was well taken by Falcon. Ball presented. And Prince Edward go for the turnover. They have turned over the ball. Well done to Prince Edward on executing good plans. They've got a huge overlap on the ball. And there we have it. Oh, they're just a slicing through. Got the ball, but continue to move forward. And looks like they're going to support. Gonna feed it into the scrum. And now getting ready to go right on. Send it out. And immediately into contact. Ah, Prince Edward. line here and what is a very interesting strategy and I'm sure one that will work he's a really big boy and all you can expect from him is gonna be big hits right in the middle of the park and I'm sure he'll be looking to penetrate where the likes of Chisungo as well as Tigere are Thompson will also have his hands full for the day Line now taken well. Bachelor looking for the pass. He gets it through, but that's poor handling from Tristan Burton. And Prince Edward now can go for the box kick, which isn't properly executed. Well taken. Liam Bachelor gets the ball as well. But it's a knock on by Falcon, and that allows Prince Edward maybe not to pay the price for that mistaken box kick from Kunaka. So getting prepared, uh, Rusike Unganai Chirisa. Now fed in by Kunaka. Oh, it turns around. Falcon now on the attack. Chisungo. Vianney Mube. Side step goes into contact. Some good leg work from him. Looking to send it out. Oh, sends it to the big man here. Obina Nweke, watch out for him during the season. Bachelor gets it out to Chisungo. Sends it out. Oh, looks like he almost there. But he's being carried. I think they were looking for the hold-up. Finally, let him go. Bachelor sends it out to Runyoa, who's the captain for today. Bachelor looking for the quick ball. Sends it out again. Goes in for the pop pass, goes to Tristan Burton, and he gives it to Clegg. Bachelor on the ball, sends it out. 
Pop pass. Luckily, it went to hand. Almost confusion there. Bachelor just allowing the boys to build up the phases. Comes out. Oh, lovely pop pass. mile away but a good build up of play from Falcon here as they were building up the phases just unable to put in the final ball that would help things move along. Now just a couple of individuals that are here notable to mention. That is the current Sables and Goshoks coach uh, Brendan Dawson is in the crowd and just watching over things. Maybe just uh, looking out for how the youngsters are going about business this afternoon they will have to do quite a lot more it is a tricky time but Kunata ready to feed Prince Edward doing well Alan Maunga now coming from the base of the scrum makes some good meters sends it out Prince Edward with a huge overlap sending it out now can he get past the man Miss tackle Vianni Ngube does the business there. Now I'm not so sure what's going on here. Prince Edward were the ones who are a little bit feisty there, especially from their foot, fullback, Chitendeni. And of course the touch judge is going to have a little bit of a word with the referee. when they have the ball. So, Ujeneza is going to be sending that line out in. Well taken by Prince Edward and being sent out. Maunga in the line. Well, that one is sent out wide. They do have numbers and overlap. Taken by Prince Edward. Pops it back inside. Miss tackle upon Miss tackle. And Prince Edward are going to put down the first try. Big dives and there it is. Prince Edward with points on the board by Jones. So a really good counter-attack by Prince Edward. The numbers were just there to be used and they were used efficiently. And Prince Edward with the first points on the board. Really, really good play. And once it got on the outside to Chitendeni, there was no stopping him. It was a 3v1 at one particular point. Now uh, waiting for the conversion, which looks like it's going to be given to Kunata for responsibility here. And Prince Edward supporters have gone on in song. That is a fantastic conversion, goes straight in. And so Prince Edward, uh, seven points to nil in the lead against the Falcon Mad Dogs. Not happy with proceedings is the captain, Huntsman Greaves, who has been forced out because of injury. Quite unfortunate, he has to nurse that one for one or two weeks, but he'll be dying to get back. Prince Edward pick up the ball again, Kunaka looking for touch and he finds it quite easily just by the 10 meter line. And so the hooker for Prince Edward here, Ujeneza will continue. The flyer of Rusike, who has been dictating play, has uh, played for Zimbabwe under 16, went to the Grand Como week, but well taken. Just now looking to send it out. Buyani Ube finally finds his man on the outside. A big hit from Falcon. Finally pops it out to Buyani but can't quite get it. And Prince Edward turned over the ball. Picked up. Oh, lovely step inside. And Prince Edward looking to pop the ball in. Uh, Tariq Mituma just couldn't find the man on the ball. And Falcon has been penalized for coming in receiving the rack. Kunaka goes for the tap and goal. This tap away as Prince Edward will continue pushing.
as the mob under 16, he went for the draft and for more weeks. And he's also the inside center for the Harare Sports Club under 20 side. Sadiwa Unganai is also a part of this. The inside center has been brilliant uh, for all the Georgians under 20 this year. He actually won the under 20 uh, league with the side. And he'll be looking to replicate some of that form right here. But as for now, it is uh, Kunaka with the responsibility of the penalty. Just round about five or six meters outside the 22. So this should be a 30 plus meter kick for him. Oh, that's a fantastic kick right between the sticks. And that extends the lead for Prince Edward to 10 points to nil. So despite the fact that Sean D'Souza is not present here as he's attending to other uh, issues back in Harare, the team is playing like he's right in the field with them. So Chisungo with the ball in hand and Falcon need to get on the scoreboard sometime soon with 15 minutes gone on the scoreboard. Well received. Kunaka in the pocket looking for touch. That's a beautiful kick just past the halfway line. And so Kunaka here will obviously continue to dictate play. You can hear the support from Falcon will be looking to just offset Prince Edward, but they are the ones who are comfortably in control. Line out comes through. And with that dummy, it is a free kick in favor of Prince Edward, and they will take the scrum. Tyreek Mutuma, part of the Lucid Trio, or Loose Trio rather. Alan Maonga back in his position at eighth man. Rusike will be waiting for that ball. Unganai and Chirisa. But Unganai will be very important to watch. He had a pretty good Derby Day festival. And a good feed for Prince Edward. And Rusike sends it out. Felt like it was knocked on. But he is going to slice right through. Is the fly off here going for another fly? And Prince Edward have it. It was a little bit tricky right there. Not so sure what happened there because, to my recollection, I think Unganai may have knocked the ball a little bit forward. Wiani Mube tries to ask the question, but referee not budging. And the scoreline will remain 15. Well, wow, will actually ascend to 15 points to nil. And Runyao will have a very stunned by Prince Edward and Prince Edward are not relenting I tell you they are coming in their numbers and their back line is as fluid as water but as it stands Falcon College have to come up with another plan on how to stop that back line try to keep it in the forwards if they don't they will continue to suffer the brunt the brutality and the incisiveness of the Prince Edward back line Kunaka getting ready for the conversion. 18 minutes on the clock. And Kunaka now coming in for it. Looks like a good one and it is. 17 points to nil for Kunaka has really come to the party with this kicking for Prince Edward. So Mad Dogs will need all the support that they can get because right now they just can't keep a lid on Prince Edward. Chisungo with the ball. Sends it up high and mighty. That's a good kick. Well taken by Maunga, but he goes down. 
and that's a big hit against Liam Bachelor. Ball comes out from Kunaka. Well taken. Looking for another big hit. Again. Running it down the line. Almost intercepted. On the far side by the number of That is Sibanda of the Falcon College. So Runyoa here has been doing all of the tight head uh, job right now for a reason. Strong lad. And he was the one who scored the winning try when they played against St. George's at the Pure Drop Festival. And knock on here from Prince Edward. And Falcon can now get their hands onto the ball. Sends it out. Another big hit coming through from Tristan. Burton, another big hit coming through from Brebner. Also, building up some good faces here. Prince Edward looking to turn the ball around. And with that, it's a knock on in favor. So, Vuyani Ngube had a couple of bright moments at the early parts of the game, but you really can't make an imprint when you don't have the ball in hand. And Prince Edward have been making all the imprints here. Fed in. Looks like it's coming out. Bachelor sends it out to Jasungo. Comes to Fuyani Ngube. He decides to send it down. Now, oh, lovely. Tip over the top. His hands on the ball. But that was a fantastic chip over the top by James Thompson. And if Falcon had dotted down that try, that would have given them some confidence. Especially coming to the halftime break. Which should be coming in the next eight minutes or so. And so Prince Edward will be lucky to get away from that particular. Bachelor and he's just pushing them out of his way. Kunaka with a box kick. It's high and mighty. Comes to Sibanda. He decides to pass it to Thompson. Thompson sends it down now. Oh, looking to go through. And it looks like he's made some good yards. Has the number 14 here. That's Huggins Machaka. A good pick and go from Now to Chisungo, he sends it out. Uh, taken down now in the 22 are Falcon. Prince Edward looking to steal the ball and they have. 
Prince Edward go for the kick. It's going to bounce and straight into touch. A really decent kick. Close to the halfway line. So, far from now, beginning to wake up to some of those That Prince Edward defense, and they kind of had sliced it open at that particular point. Huggins oh, Machaka on the ball. James Thompson really acquitting himself really well. Oh, Runyoa ready to send in the throw. And stolen by Prince Edward. Now coming down the line from Rusike. In the night. He breaks through one tackle, goes past another, pops it out. Prince Edward are making the headway. Too many missed tackles from the Mad Dog. And right on the 22, finally taken down. Carlson is still offside. And it's a knock on at that point. But the referee finally blows for it and he says it is going to be spun down. And Carlson have the ball. Now 26 minutes on the clock. Half time is fast approaching and Falcon still zero points to the good. But Prince Edward holding the lead 17 points to the good against him. And as they are forming it, Liam Batchelor is going to come. Looking ready to feed. And Falcon just trying to rile up their players, trying to get some confidence in them. Bachelor sends it in. Prince Edward scrums so strong. Bachelor picks it up. But that's a free kick. Prince Edward impeding in the scrum. And I'm sure at this point it is being given to Kisungo to try and find touch. Well, decide to go for a tap and go. And it's an up and under. Oh, what a knock on from Prince Edward. And right on their own 22. What a mistake that was. Really poor, really poor. Under the high ball. But I'm sure. <laughs> Now getting ready for another feed, Liam Batchelor. We can see the line has split here to Sungo on the blind side. Might just be looking to feed Jeff Thompson with another a dab over the top or maybe an eight-man break. They hold still. It is an eight-man break, but taken down immediately. Liam Batchelor now looking for the ball. Sent it out. That is my tackle. Here's the ball, but he's taken straight into charge. And it wasn't the smartest move from Falcon. Maybe they needed to have gone to the blind side or maybe allowed uh, Thompson to put his boot to the ball at that moment. Ujeneza ready to feed the ball in. Taken by Tariq Mutuma to Kunaka. Sends it out. Rusike, a step inside and out, still looking for the way through. There is a bit of an overlap on that side, but Falcon now lining back up. A good tackle to bring them down. Contestation of the breakdown, but Falcon not able to get it. Oh, the ball. Oh, Prince Edward. Able to see that ball. ball comes out. Too many missed tackles from Falcon, allowing Prince Edward now to just line up for the attack. Ball is sent out. Uh, knock on from Prince Edward, and they'll rule that opportunity. But it looks like Falcon were just not lined up quickly enough, and it is a penalty in favor of Prince Edward. And Kunaka decides to go for post again. His boot has been pretty good for him. And Kunaka.
Monaco is on it. We'll be looking to extend the lead once again. really have a long way back into this match against the formidable Prince Edward Tigers who are looking to extend their lead to 20 points to nil and just make it a very long road back for, Prince, for Falcon College Kunaka Looking pretty good, but it didn't make it. So Falcon are gonna pick up. Are they gonna counter attack from here? They decide to pass it, but that's a forward pass. Oh my goodness. How could they mess it up? counter-attack which they actually could have punished Prince Edward for missing that kick for but now Kunaka will line up his boys Rusike will be licking his lips at this opportunity to let Unganai and line up for it I think it's easy captaining Prince Edward right now for Tyreek Kishuma and Alan Maunga Aikman breaks, Maunga hits another, breaks a couple of tackles, he really wants it, he's going to turn over Chris and got it down, the captain has put down five more points, and Falcon here having a chat with the referee, I'm not so sure what they are complaining about here, referee is not having it, and Falcon are 22 points down now, Desperately in need of more points on the board, looking frustrated, hands on hips. They need not give up. There is a second half that's coming up, and they could rewire their tactics and make things work. I can see Huntsman Greaves now walking up to the boys, just trying to encourage them. And Kunaka lining up for another kick. But right now, it seems to be a one way street as the Prince Edward Tigers are rolling over the Mad Dogs in the Mad Dogs pit. The physicality of Alan Maunga just far too much for Falcon to keep out. And the Tigers continue to roar. Naka concentrating, getting ready for the kick. He has been looking quite good in terms of distance. And direction looks good on this one in between the sticks. And that's 24 points to nil. So we did have a substitution coming on a little bit earlier. We do have number 16 for Falcon, a big lad. I'm sure he'll be looking to make an imprint. But Falcon right now need to find some inspiration somewhere. Kunaka right under the high ball. He sends it back up. Well taken by Bachelor this time round. He sends it out to Runyowa. Runyowa now. He sends it out to Viani Mube. He tries to go for the handle, but he slowed his momentum down and... And maybe just might have brought that attack to a standstill. Picked up once again this time round by Clegg. Bachelor looking to send the ball out once again. Chisungo sends it out to one of his... Looking to take advantage of it. And 
Vincent, but once again coming through, sealing the right, not rolling away after making the tackle. It is a tap and go immediately here. Again, another big hit looking to build up some phases. Bachelor sends it out. To get it to Vuyani Ngube, who has been smothered right now by the Tigers, looking to release the ball. Bachelor. Oh, it comes out rolling. Bachelor looking for the ball, sends it out. And that was offside from Prince Edward. They'll pay the price. Kisungo looking for a quick tap and go, but I would advise that he go for post. Well, they decide to go for a scrum, but I must hasten to say that they have been losing out on quite a number of those. So McKechnie has been making a number of carries. But again, Falcon has just found it hard and difficult. Thompson comes onto the blind side. That's what we'll be looking for the pass to Chisungo. Ah, oh, looking to break it through. They found the inspiration. They decided to go against taking the three points. And they've got some points on the board. So Vuyani Ngube there with some good clutch play. And Chisungo with some good vision as well. Getting the ball around the corner. And Vuyani Ngube would not pass up on that opportunity. So Falcon now have five points on the board. We are just waiting for the kick. But we will definitely be going for the halftime break. Falcon needed some inspiration. They are still well behind, but surely this should be a spark of the comeback. And we've seen many comebacks in schoolboy rugby. Falcon was very much a proponent of that last season. Maybe they can revive the ghost of 2022 and come back in this match against Prince Edward. And so Thompson has got this responsibility. The angle is quite acute and very tight. But he does have a fantastic boot on him, does this young man. The distance is good, the height is great, but the angles are not. And so that is the halftime break. Falcon scoring a try dead on the halftime whistle. And Prince Edward firmly in the lead, leading 25 points to 5 against the Mad Dogs down here in Essigodini.
All right, let's go. All right, up now. But if I get excited, what's that? Oh, 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 so welcome back to the second half of this enthralling encounter between the Prince Edward Tigers and the Falcon College. Falcon College here at the Mad Dogs Pit have found the first half tough going. Prince Edward leading 24 points to 5. Silky play in their back line. Falcon didn't have answers and they were only able to reply through one of their star players, Vuyani Ngube. Their captain, Huntsman Greaves, as well as one of their star players, Kolwani Kotsoneta Moyo, also injured. So they're missing two important players in their lineup. But Falcon will not give up. I did hear the halftime supporters talk, saying that we've seen amazing things happen at uh, uh, the Mad Dog Spit. So they will be hoping that an amazing second half is on the beckoning. Prince Edward will have Kunaka. And uh, Falcon receive it. And immediately onto it. Here Aikman breaks out. That's McKechnie. Gives it to Runyoa. He sides it up. That player defense from Prince Edward. Finally take him down on the five meter. Liam Batchelor will be looking for a quick ball. He finally gets it out to Chisungo. A little bit wasted. And it looks like it is a penalty against Prince Edward. They were all side there. Well, they've got a penalty in a really good area. But McKechnie, what a run. He decides to go for the hit. He knocks it on. Goodness me, what a waste of possession. And uh, Prince Edward will be breathing a huge sigh of relief. So a really good start from Prince Edward, uh, from uh, Falcon College. A good run from McKechnie. Now Falcon will want a big shot here, a big push. Samanda, Hagens Machaka will have to play a very significant role here. Liam Batchelor will need to get quick ball out if he is to upset Prince Edward. And at that point, he failed to get some quick ball to Chisungo, who also failed to handle. And so with that knock on right in the midst of things, Prince Edward look like they've got an injury to one of their players and just trying to see who that might be from this point and with the sun in our eyes it's a little bit difficult to tell who is injured but we will try and keep our ears to the ground as well as our eyes on the field of play to see who comes who is coming out here it looks like the young man is all right rising to his feet, a little bit of maybe a dead shoulder there just from one of the hits. So it is going to be an in-goal dropout after Falcon tried to get in Kunaka with a really good kick almost to the halfway line. Ball comes out there too. Hagen Smachaka oh, sends it out. Falcon Really making some good headway, Zain Sibanda. Bachelor onto the ball, sends it out now, looking for some phases. Decides to step inside. Bachelor looking for that pass. Now to one of the Titans, that is Sanya and not Sanya Narada Maweri. Ball comes out to McKechnie. Bachelor now. Picked up once again by Maweri. Lost in contact. Uh oh, a yellow card is coming out here. Cynical play. What did we see right there? Oh, that's not good for Prince Edward. They lose one man now, down to 14. So the Mad Dogs really turning on the heat. Not so sure if that's Unganai. 
and with a quick tap and go, but Prince Edward hold on to their defense, push the Mad Dogs back. The Mad Dogs can slip the try line. Mawere going for the big hit, turns round, and it's try time. Mawere responds with a big hit, and it is a try time for the Mad Dogs. And it is now 10 points to the good for Falcon. They are still quite a way behind, but Prince Edward will have to relook on their defense there. It was quite poor the way they conceded. They have been solid throughout, but the second half, it looks like maybe the support from Falcon getting to them. Now it is uh, Thompson. He now needs to get this one in to try and get the lead to just half what it is at the moment. Prince Edward leading 24 points to 10. Falcon with all the job to do in the second half. And it's only nine minutes gone so far. And Thompson was dotting them in yesterday during practice. He should feel confident enough to dot it in again. Kunaka coming in. Uh, Thompson pulls it wide just a little. He had the height and distance, but not the direction. And so they will have to be content with 10 points, 40 minutes on the clock. Five minutes gone in the match. And Prince Edward, one man down in the sin bin. And we can see from the technical bench of Prince Edward, just the boys being told to calm down. They are in the lead. A high and hanging one from Kunaka. Chitendeni coming in. But again, sidetracked, Vuyani Ngube uh, steps into touch, was almost away there. Well, he needed to find out, or he needed to know just how close he was to the touchline. Remember, the touchline is the defense's favorite friend, and Prince Edward using it to good effect. Ujeneza with the ball again, looking to send in a good... Line out. Maunga is also in. Sends a Tariq Mutuma out. But that was a poor one. Kunaka improvises. Now Prince Edward coming in. Coming round. It is uh, one of their flankers. He also steps into touch. That is Mpakore. So Mpakore was almost away there and uh, stepping out. It is getting a little bit feisty on the field of play. Runyoa with ball in hand. Has to get this line out right. They are in the danger zone. They're taken by Falcon right at the back. And there we go. Prince Edward looking to contest. Bachelor picked it up. Chisungo. He decides to go for a kick downfield. Has to chase. Side tracks behind Chitendeni. He kicks it into touch and gets it just past the halfway line. But it went out on the full. And so the line out will be brought back in line with where he kicked it from, which is just outside the 22. And so there needs to be better communication between the boys. Prince Edward just holding on to the ball. Bachelor hands it over to his captain, Runyoa. Vianin Mube has to play a significant role here. Line out comes in, it looks poor. Prince Edward pick it up, but they knock it on. Chisungo on the ball, takes it into contact. Bachelor gets it out, picked up by Thompson. Tries to send it out to Zain Sibanda. He twists out of the tackle. And it's all over. And as I did mention before, getting a little bit feisty there for Zain Sibanda and some of the Prince Edward boys. But the advantage still remains with Falcon. So Falcon have come out in the second half and are now executing the plans that I'm sure that Derek Chiwara 
Cunningham as well as Winsel have been able to put on the table. Bachelor looking for the feed. The line has been sent out onto the far side to Sungo. Buyani Mube all waiting for it. Tigere as well. Uh, the ball not coming out, but finally does. Bachelor picks it up, sends it to Chisungo, pops it out to Vuyani. Vuyani should have released the ball. That was a straight overlap. But he goes into contact. Bachelor will be looking for the ball here. He can't get the ball out quick enough, and Prince Edward are already well lined up. Looks like Prince Edward has stolen it. They can counter attack. Ball knocked out. Falcon turned it over. Again, a big tackle. Prince Edward, they have to get out of the way. Bachelor sends it out. Again, just going through the phases. Our Falcon ball finally going to ground. Bachelor has it. Sends it out. Knocked backwards. Picked up. A big tackle. Ball comes out. Vianning Nube goes for the tap through. Can they get past? Oh, oh, it will just go a little bit past. And that is just outside of the try box. And that will be an in goal drop out. But it was a decent idea from Vuyani Nube. But the ball just a little bit too powerful. And Prince Edward suffer another injury here. making the very most of the support here yeah, and uh, Prince Edward may be just suffering one or two many injuries at this particular point but now the yellow card is over Prince Edward is back to 15 men on the field of play but with that injury maybe a substitution has to be made I love the way that Kunaka has been able to get some quick ball out to Prince Edward Rusike has generally controlled matters quite good. Well, referee is not saying anything at the moment. Uh, Kunaka was looking to tap out. Well, actually, it is a 22-yard dropout because it was Falcon that dabbed it all the way out. So that is a 22-meter dropout. And uh, Kunaka has got a really good boot on him. He has been kicking it a long way away. He gets that one up. The wind is against him. Thompson picks up on the ball, sends it out to Runyoa. Runyoa decides to go into contact, and he has bumped out two or three tackles. There's a reason why they call him Tank, and the Tank has just blown through the defense. Tigere, looking for the pass out, looking for the offload, can't get it out. Prince Edward looking to counter. Bachelor on the ball. Sends it out now. One of his locks there, that's Brebna taken down looking to get the ball out to Bachelor. finally gets it Chisungo Zane Sibanda goes into contact breaks one tackle finally taken down Runyoa looking to protect the ball but Prince Edward looking to turn things around and they have he was isolated there but Bachelor also in with the tackle ball goes loose Falcon looking to regain it but Prince Edward protected well Again, looking to just go around the fringes here and create some room to kick the ball out. A box kick from Kunaka doesn't quite work well. Taken by Chitendeni. And that is a penalty holding on to the ball. Chitendeni. Mtuma trying to appeal a case there. Referee not having any of it, having felt that his winger was impeded. But now Chisungo kicking for touch. Doesn't gain too many meters, but still good enough for Falcon as they retain possession. Runyoa, the tank, has got another line out here to execute. I don't think a six or an eight ball will work. 
a four ball should be good enough. So waiting on the ball, not so sure where the ball has gone here. No ball boys. Well, the ball boy has finally come to the rescue. Might be a two ball or a four ball. Looks like a four ball. Well collected, now going for the driving more. They're driving very well. Our Falcon here, making some good meters. Uh, but the Falcon able to break it up. Try to steal the ball. Bachelor now sends it out to Jisungo. He looks for the gap, he's isolated. Referee might blow, but now comes out to Fuyani Ngube. Goes in to build another phase. Picked up by Runyoa, the tank. Broken one, broken two tackles. Falcon on fire here. Bachelor looking to send it out, but just can't quite get it out. Chisungo, a couple of side steps, looking for the pass. Can't get it. The heels also isolated at that point. Falcon picks it up, a pick and go. He was isolated. And with that, holding on to the ball, Falcon lose possession. But they were making some good meters. And so the support has gotten louder and louder here at Falcon to try and spur the boys home. 50 minutes on the clock right now. 20 minutes left in this encounter for Falcon to find some inspiration somewhere. Kunaka, tap and go. Goes for the big kick, looking for the 50. 22, but he doesn't find it. Thompson goes for the big kick upfield. But remember, every Falcon player is offside at this moment. And the knock on comes in. Prince Edward have lost possession. Now another phase being built up, but good tackles coming from Prince Edward defense. Bachelor steals. Steals it away, Falcon trying to protect the ball, but Prince Edward coming from the side at that moment, at that point. Rolled over, Chisungo looking for the pass, he gets it. They're going to look for another phase, Breb now with some good leg work. Finally down. Oh goodness me, that was from the foot. Prince Edward can counter attack, but the referee has said that came off the boot and he gives the knock on against Prince Edward. So Alan Baunga wondering what his team has done wrong, but they have to calm down the boys. And Falcon will have that scrum on the far side. Bachelor with ball in hand. What can he do? He needs to try and get the ball out quicker. The Ketchney has been making some good runs, good carries. We've also seen Burton as well as Brebner taking the ball and going into some hits. Now Falcon needs to get the ball out quickly. Bachelor wriggles out of a Kunaka tackle. Just not backwards. And so Falcon continues with play. Prince Edward have been able to steal the ball back. That was some smart play. They break through the gap. And there we go. Mpapore. He kicks it forward. Mahunga is running for it. I don't think they had seen it. But that's the beauty of the rugby ball. It bounces and it allows Chisungo to find a kick into touch. But just only inside there are 22 where Prince Edward will have another opportunity to attack. And so another substitution is coming for Falcon. And so the line out coming from Ujeneza. Maunga rises for it. Now the driving move from Prince Edward looking very strong. Falcon are struggling here. They're tottering. 
It looks like Prince Edward is going to go over. But they don't. And it looks like Falcon has come around here through the side. It is a penalty advantage. And Prince Edward, Wunganai, through Wunganai. He's going to bump over and he's going to dot it down. It is try time once again for Prince Edward. It always meant trouble when Falcon couldn't get it out of their own 22. And it is now try time from Unganai. Bachelor calls it a day. And uh, looks like the young number 21 is coming onto the field of play for Falcon. A round of applause for Bachelor as he gets back to the bench. But Falcon surely uh, still going to find it a mountain to climb. They had most of the momentum, unfortunately lost the ball in very key areas, and you just get punished. Kunaka will be looking to extend the lead to 21 points to 10, uh, 31 rather, points to 10, if it can get this conversion over. Good concentration. And he dots this one right between the sticks. Prince Edward, 31 points to 10, 55 minutes on the clock. 15 minutes to go for 21 points to be gotten by the Mad Dogs. The Mad Dogs pit right now is currently being ravaged by the Tigers, but the Mad Dogs can come alive, and we've seen them come alive before. Chisungo with that high hanging kick looking good. Taken. Looking for the tackle. Looks like they clash. And uh, Prince Edward lose possession just outside their own 22. Riani Ngube looks a pale figure of what we know he can do and what he showed us he can do at the end of the first half. Just hasn't been able to impact the game and you generally can't when you don't have the ball. Prince Edward have been able to manage the game quite efficiently and have not allowed Falcon to have much. Tigere has had one or two runs, but it just doesn't seem like as if it's clicking together right now. There hasn't been enough use of the likes of Zain Sibanda and Huggins Mataka on the wings. Ball comes out. Chisungo sidestep to try and get himself out of the way of the Prince Edward defense. Looking for it, Runyoa, that tank. He bundles through a couple of tackles. Ball coming out now, a little bit quicker from Falcon. Brebna, Falcon protected well. Oh, well taken there, McKechnie. Ball coming out much quicker. Vuyani decides to go for the long pass and that was a horrible decision. Surely should have allowed that one to run down the line. So Vuyani finding it difficult to find the magic that we saw him have, particularly last term, maybe still trying to find the click between himself and Chisungo, who we know had been moved and has been moved to the fullback position. But today, Thompson has done a reasonably good job. Just that the marauding Tigers have been unrelenting. Ujeneza with ball in hand, just waiting for, looks like Maunga, who might be right at the back there, just to get his shoelaces on. Mutuma has been doing well in the lineouts, collecting the ball. Well collected by Maunga, another driving move out of their own 22. Falcon trying to stop this one, but... It is Prince Edward who are going on and on. They keep on going on and on. They can't stop this war. Can the Mad Dogs and the broken out here? Ujeneza with the big hit against Zain Sibanda. Kunaka looking for the pass out, gets it. Rusike 
Well, that looks like Unganai who had actually collected the ball and Falcon steal it. Chisungo gets the ball around. They do have an overlap on the other side. Together decides to go into contact. Should have maybe released the ball there. Ball comes out. Vianning Nube goes for the big hit. Rolls out of one. Finally goes to ground. Quick ball needed. Picked up again. Another big hit, but stopped by the maroon, <laughs> green, and white wall of Prince Edward. Another tackle on Mawere. He's a try scorer for today. Chisungo needs to dab it over the top. He could have done well if he had done that one. But Prince Edward now smothering. The ball is free. Oh, Falcon here yeah, just me making a mess of it. Saint Sibanda with some clear day, but immediately smothered by Prince Edward. And they are looking to turn over possession. And they have a, a good pick and go. Taken out. And that's a penalty. And not allowed to do that. Brevna picks up the ball. Might need to find touch here. Chisungo looks like he might be suffering from a bit of cramp. Or maybe just an ankle, which is not looking too good for him. So he's by the touchline. Looks like Buyani Nube as well. Suffering from some cramp. So Falcon right now just short of two men at the moment. Two key men. Hagen's Machaka goes for the kick. Just outside the 22 is where it goes out. Runyoa ready for it. The captain today has had some good carries out Runyoa. Unfortunately, they've not been able to convert any of those runs into a lethal attack. So it looks like Vuyani Mube stepping off the field of play on the far side. Chisungo also looking like he's going to struggle to continue. But he's hobbling back onto the field of play. So Vuyani off now. Tigere will have to come into the fly-off position. Chisungo has the scent. Gets the ball, sends it out to get it on the ball. Zane Sibanda to Thompson, a horrible pass. But Thompson tries to rescue the situation. Ball comes out again. This one looks like it's to McKechnie. Falcon now realigning themselves. Out to Brevna, a dummy. Comes around to the referee, comes back in. Again, another big carry. A penalty advantage. To get it, passes out to Runyoa. The tank looking to get the protection on the ball. Can't support his weight. Don't know if the penalty advantage is still on. Chisungo sends it out. Another phase. Chisungo. It looks like that is Clay. Uh, passes it right over. Smart play from the scrum off. Losing the ball in contact. Mutuma picks the ball, gives it to his other captain, Maunga. And because of that knock on, it is going to belong to Prince Edward. Runyoa finally goes down. And really not looking good for them he has been arguably one of their best players on the park today his runs have been positive and he's struggling with some cramp there hamstring or groin not looking too good for runyoa looks like we've got another substitution as well from prince edward
and Runyoa looks like he's writhing in pain. They might just need to get the stretcher on. And time, surely at this point, surely will be stopped. Though it is 63 minutes on the clock, uh, approximately seven minutes left in this match. I'm sure it will be a little bit too difficult for Falcon to come back into this one. And the captain for today, Runyoa, has to walk off. So play will be brought back. Prince Edward uh, will have the scrum. Arguably... Seven minutes on the clock left here. 63 minutes done and dusted. Falcon will obviously have to go back to the drawing board. Derek Chiwara knows he has got a lot of work to do come Monday. The support has been unrelenting from Falcon, but so has the attack from Prince Edward. Prince Edward now looking to go on the blind side, I'm sure. Kunaka uh, decides to go for that kick. Chitendeni coming through. He's got pace, but ball finally dribbles out of play just outside the 22, and Falcon will have this line out. So this time round, the responsibilities change. They've now gone to Mpande. And that one has been gathered by Falcon. They will look to pick and go. And that's a penalty advantage. And that's a high tackle from Kunaka. And Falcon look for touch, and rather than Prince Edward keeping it in, <laughs> they've bundled it out of play. And so we do have a new fullback in, uh, wearing number 22 for Prince Edward. Runyoa looks like he wants to step back on the field of play, as a good captain should, try to finish off the game. Chitendeni looks like he's down. Falcon will continue with Mpande. So, Tendeni finally gets himself up. Ball comes out. Chisungo looking for that run. To, to get it. To Thompson. He handles it well. Sends it out on the, on the far side. But Prince Edward are able to smother that attack. Looking to rip the ball away. But Falcon keep possession of that. That was good line play. Now looking to go for some more. That looks like McKechnie from here. More quick ball, but that is poor passing. And luckily for them, it is a penalty. Prince Edward for offside. Falcon continue with the attack and press. And Prince Edward are fighting all their way to push Falcon out. And I think they've done well enough to do so. So on the clock, it does say four minutes left until this encounter is over. And I'm sure Falcon would just want one more 
to just try and, and get something on the board. We do have an injured Prince Edward player. Prince Edward with the ball. Line out, it goes way over, it's not in straight. And the ball goes to Falcon, then good territory here. So the only move effectively off the field of play. And a couple of changes had to be made to Sungo back on. And so one or two substitutions made, and they had to take Machaka as well as to get in, put them in the center pairing. Thompson also joining the line here. Hoping to add some bite to the attack. A good feed, good push. Chisungo has it, sends it out. Bajaka to get it. Oh, but goodness me, that's a forward pass. When you attack, you surely can't do that. And a nice little pat on the head from Unganai with Prince Edward doing what needs to be done. So Falcons still need to defend the scrum, but two minutes left on the clock. And Falcon here just hanging on to just continue playing. Tatenda Renewa has to now watch from the sidelines. Uh, it's a penalty in favor of Falcon. Now running it down the line. Can they just get it out? Going on the outside. Pops it back in. And the Prince Edward defending with their lives. And they were not back 10. So the penalty will be brought back here. They need another quick tap and go, Will Falcon. So waiting on the rip, they go for it. Can they go past the Prince Edward defensive line? Held just before the try line. And finally they get the try. Falcon have been able to bundle it over. It finally worked out and they got the try from their number 16. He has been making some marauding runs and some carries. And finally they've received their reward. So it is a try for Falcon. I'm sure one that they had hoped they could get and they've finally gotten it maybe to put some respectability on the scoreline. But today it has been all about Prince Edward. They just were too good and too strong for the Mad Dogs in the Mad Dogs pit. Chisungo will have responsibility for this one. Maybe take some weight off the shoulders of Thompson. And he misses the kick. And the Prince Edward celebrate. They have run away with this one. 31 points to 15. Right here in Esigodini at the Mad Dog Spit. The Tigers came. They saw. They conquered. Others would say they've quietened the Mad Dogs and they've rode their way to a fantastic victory. Sean D'Souza will definitely be happy as he was locked on on this stream. But Falcon have got a lot of work to do as this season is going to be long and hard if they're going to play this way. They really just couldn't shut down Prince Edward. They really couldn't align up their defense properly and quickly enough. And of course, Alan Maunga coming back from the under 20 Barters Trophy win and leading his side to a 31 15 win here at the Mad Dog Spit. Stay locked on as we bring you interviews from the coaches and the captains.